Hello, Ramley, another NFL family. Peo time here, your Canadian Ram fan. And in this video, we are reacting to a clip from the latest episode of Rams Showcase with Sheriff Joe Banks. And I asked a question to his show because every week, uh, Sheriff Joe posts fan quesos. And I, I asked a question about the current state of the Los Angeles Rams fandom. I'm a Canadian fan that lives on the East Coast of Canada. I, I get to LA as often as I can. I love it. I, I can't wait to go back. But there's always sort of this interesting dynamic of the Rams, right? You know, they started in Cleveland. They moved to LA. They moved to St. Louis. They moved back to LA. And there were so many fans that kind of left because of those moves. And, and, and you know, it's a good way to, to distance yourself from your fans if you literally distance yourself from your fans. And so we're back in LA in 2016. It's been eight years. And I, I just I want to ask this question. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, do you agree with what Joe says? Do you, you know, what are your thoughts on it? But let's get into it here. So he uh, he answers this question, I think, quite masterfully. I really appreciated Joe breaking it down the way that he did. So let's listen in and uh, I'll, I'll pause and, and comment along the way. There's a serious question. Super serious. So no, no more having fun. Okay, fun's over. Uh, it's hard to believe the Rams have been back in LA for eight years now. What's your opinion on the current state of the Rams fandom in the local LA community? I don't know if it's me, but I feel like there is more hype for this Rams team now than even the 2021 season with the Stafford trade. Yeah, I, I asked that question because I really feel like there's a lot of hype with this Rams team. And there was a lot of hype when they made this trade for Stafford and into that year, you know, considering to 10 for a Super Bowl. But I just feel like this year there's just more Ram fans. Your thoughts. I love this question because we are at about that time. We're eight years in, like you said. We're at about that time now where... The, the people that are growing up with the Rams, people who maybe, maybe the Rams moved back and you were, you know, you were five years old, let's say. You were a kid. So you don't really, you're not watching football. You don't really care. You're still just playing with dinosaurs and trucks and stuff. And you're like, that's, this is where I'm at. But then maybe you're six, you're seven. Just dinosaurs and trucks are cool. Just FYI. You're eight, you're nine, you're 10. And you're going to Rams games. And this team is good. This team is flashy. This team scored a bunch of points. This team is going to Super Bowls and making the playoffs. And now you're 13. And I know for me, in my watching uh, time, my my football watching, by 13, I was in it. Yeah. I was in football by the time I was I was 13. Like I was I was every Sunday I was locked in. Uh, by the time I was 13. So we're at about that time, dude, where the Rams have just been back in Los Angeles long enough where we're going to see that fans are just kind of gathering in now, finally. Because even if you look at the 2021 season, that was only, you know, what, five, six years in. Uh, that's still not enough to, like, earn that back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's fair to try to erase the history of the St. Louis Rams. Uh, but I do think it's it's appropriate to make sure that the St. Louis Rams are are understandably in the past. Yep. And that's not intended to be a shot at the St. Louis, no. uh, the city, the fans of St. Louis. Just a quick pause there. Yeah, I, I love the way Joe is breaking this down very rationally. And again, I became a fan of the Rams when they were in St. Louis. I, I, I love looking up the old L.A. history of, of the Rams. But I, I enjoyed most of, the, you know, especially the early years uh, in St. Louis. There were some rough years for sure. Yeah, again, if you were a fan of the Rams in 2009, you survived that. Lord bless you. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I love what Joe, Joe is breaking down here. I became a Rams fan when the team was in St. Louis. They moved to St. Louis when I was four. I didn't know what the heck was going on that time. So I became a fan of the St. Louis Rams. But the more I learn, uh, the more I kind of dig into history and stuff like that, the Rams do just feel like a LA team. They yeah. feel like they're home. And that's why, like, I don't think we should ignore the St. Louis years. We should ignore some of the St. Louis years because, yeah. oh my God. But there was, I mean, a Super Bowl ring. 
Sorry. Yeah. I, I, oh, that's. Yeah. There. There's a lot of. There's a lot you can ignore about about especially the latter part of those years. In St. Louis, we saw you know like we saw some really impressive stuff. Yeah. In St. Louis. Yep. Great show on turf. So I don't think we should throw it away, but I do think we need to understandably put it into the past and make it a uh, yep. historical. The oh the St. Louis Rams like you watch them like. That's that was what I kind of will I feel like will be the deciding factor when you're talking to these fans because like I know a lot of fans when the Rams moved to St. Louis uh, like what I think Joe it, to summarize what Joe is saying here is you know a couple of years from now I'm gonna have kids telling me oh you were a fan when they were in St. Louis you must be old uh, which I, I guess if that's the case say la vie one of my dad's friends was a Rams fan all his life the Rams left and he became a Niners fan. Cause he was oh. mad and he stuck with that. So even moving back, he was like, Nope, I'm in. I, I picked the Niners. I was like, that's it. And it was lame and he's a loser for it, but either way. Uh, but I just, I don't know. There's something about that where I feel like we'll in appreciate the subtle jab at the four Niners. <laughs> another 20 years from now, we'll be like, Oh, you're a Rams fan. That's cool. And they were like, yeah, I remember watching, you know, Tory Holt and Marshall Falk and like, and you're like, Oh, you even like St. Louis. Like, dude, that's thick. Like, because let's be real here, the St. Louis time, we're already creeping up on, uh, we've been back in LA for almost half the time we spent in in, in, in St. Louis entirely. That's a good point. Like, it's, that's kind of nuts, right? Like, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting there, man. And that'll be a big moment too. And that's kind of my moment. And that's kind of what I keep in my head of the, the moment the Rams are back in LA for the amount of time they were in St. Louis that's when we're fully, fully, fully back. But like I said, we're at that point now where even if you're an older fan, maybe you weren't really into football that much. Maybe you watched football, but you didn't really have a team because you're living in LA and there's no home team to root for. The Rams come in. Maybe you go to some of those games. Maybe you go to some Chargers games. Maybe you're just trying to be part of it. Maybe you're just trying to kind of latch on. And then this Rams team turns out to be really fun. They're really cool. (laughs) And so... I think that even as adults, you kind of get a little bit more sucked into it. Now you start seeing stuff in Walmart where you can just go pick up a shirt in Walmart or something like that. Kids, you're getting, you know, rampage coming to your school, you know, all this stuff. So I do think that there is something to be said about that, that like we're at that time right now, this eight years was my starting point. And that's why I love that you asked this question at this point, because eight years was my starting point of like, it doesn't even matter. We don't even need to try to think about how strong the fan base is in Los Angeles or like how good our home crowd can be until we're minimum eight years in. I said that for a while. And I guess I kind of forgot about that until you bring it up now. But I said that for a while. I was hammering that up. Like, I don't care in year two that the, the, the fans are like, you guys can't even get fans there. It's like, we've been, we're barely back, dude. Like there's, we're still trying to, to mend some wounds here of these fans who felt slighted by this team for 20 years, man. So like, and I think some of them did need that. I think that some fans did just need some, some time to have the team back. You see them at the Coliseum again, you see them with the white helmets again. I think that that was a very strategic and very smart move. Um, as far as like fandom and stuff like that goes, like you do that stuff to kind of be like, Hey, no, we're back. We we got you guys. Like we're we're back in we're back where we belong kind of thing. And that is absolutely how I feel again, not a slight to the city of St. Louis, not a, a slight to the fans of st louis or who lived there or became a fan when you when the rams were in st louis because i'm one of those but i also feel like the rams are back where they belong los angeles and let's be real sofi stadium could beat up edward jones dome on like <laughs> half a night's sleep and yeah hung up. <laughs> those are just that's just the way it is man so i do think that we're just in that spot right now so do appreciate your question i appreciate everybody's questions thank you guys so Oh, Joe, well said. Well said. Absolutely agree 100% with what, what Joe said there. And, and again, just to reflect on that, eight years, you know, there's, there's you know, your four and five-year-olds that were, were kids just kind of getting into football when the Rams got there in, in, 20, uh, in 2016. 2016 was kind of a lackluster year outside of, making a big trade for Jared Goff. And honestly, trade for Jared Goff and then firing Jeff Fisher were like the most noticeable things about that 2016 season. And then afterwards, hiring coach Sean McVay 
And it, since 2017, it's been a fun team to root for, to cheer for. They've been in almost every game. Like, it's rare that the Rams have a game that they're not in. And large credit to that is Sean McVay changing the culture, bringing in players that are an NFL caliber player, bringing in coaches and play callers who are, are more modern in their play calling has, has definitely been, you know, uh, Sean McVay is very much an innovator himself of the game. His football IQ is ridiculous. And that just helps serve this LA fandom. And I love that Joe pointed out that, you know, when the Rams left, it's, t it's tough to cheer for a team that leaves, right? <laughs> like, like, you know, if you get dumped, I don't know if any of you have been dumped before. I've been dumped before. It's 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 really tough to continue to, you know, want to go back to that person, I, I, you know, especially if it ends badly. And I, I so I feel like the Rams kind of they, they dumped, you know, their L.A. fans. They went to St. Louis and then they dumped their St. Louis fans and now they're back in L.A. And there's just this weird, weird healing that needs to take place, I guess, in, in football fandom. <laughs> But I'm excited for it. I uh, I really do think the Rams are in a great place. You see what the Rams social media team is doing in the past two seasons. It's been phenomenal. You see the, the Rams organization just more visible in the LA community, which I always appreciate. You know, like Joe said, Rampage showing up to the school events, you know, doing, doing the good community work. And yeah, like even this young roster of players like like Puka Nakua, Kobe Turner, right? Like Byron Young. It's been so fun seeing them in the community. And and that like even Aaron Dahl was really good about it. Cooper Cup was good about it. Matthew Stafford and his wife Kelly have been great about it. It's 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 been really cool to see. It's been really cool to see. And I'm excited to see this fandom grow even more in the years to come. And I actually think this year, right here, right now. If the Rams have a successful season, th th this fandom is ripe to just grow and grow and grow. I'm so excited for it. So excited for it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks, Joe, for that video. And uh, as always, go Rams. Horns up and peace out. Let's go Rams. Woo!